Hello, Seinfeld fans. If you're a fan of the show, I'm sure you got that reference. Jerry, hi. Hello. So it's game night, and maybe you want to play a retro card game or something classic like Mancala, or perhaps a retro-themed jigsaw puzzle. But then comes along a special game that true Seinfeld fans have to play. So yes, for today's Nostalgia Fix, we're going to be discussing a trivia game based on my favorite show of all time. If for some reason Seinfeld is not your favorite show, all I can say is... No soup for you! No, it's okay if you like another show better, as long as that show is news radio. They call Jerry Seinfeld the nicest guy in Hollywood. Fact or fiction? Anywho, as we unpack this game, I'm just going to keep the camera pointed at my wife, Brittany. She's much more pleasant to look at and doesn't suffer from two-faced syndrome. <laughs> the premise of this game is pretty simple. There are two to eight players, so two teams, and the first team to 70 points wins. You gain points by answering questions from the trivia cards correctly. The questions range from multiple choice to guess which character said a quote, be it Jerry, Elaine, Kramer, or George. These pretzels are making me thirsty! You have character tokens, and whichever one you place in front of you locks in your answer, so be sure you're confident you know who it is. There is a sand timer, so you can't take all day. There is also a chance you might have to act out certain parts of the show, but this required more than two players, so we won't be featuring that here. Which questions you get are based on the roll of the die, but be careful. If you roll the challenge die and get an exclamation mark, you may get the dreaded Newman token and lose 10 points. Your day of reckoning is coming! There is also an option, as long as both teams are at 50 points, where you can enter a sudden death challenge. This is where the fishing pole and marble rye come into play. While we are showing this done on the tabletop, the idea is to try to flip the marble rye about five steps over to the finish card, within one fishing pole length anyways. First team to do so wins it all. <laughs> there are a few more details other than that, but overall we just wanted to tell you it's a really fun game for Seinfeld fans. It was only like $11 back when I got it on Amazon, so even if you only played it once or twice you'd get your money's worth. As you can see the design and packaging of the game is pretty great. The trivia cards have nice artwork on them, so it's nice to show that off to the opposing team. You'll definitely feel nostalgic for the show as you read the questions and see the new art for each card. I also appreciated how this game didn't get too bogged down with complex rules and tasks. The main point is just to get you into the show's trivia and have a good time. Mm, giddy up. I definitely recommend this game, and no, this is not a paid promotion. I'm just a really big fan of the show and Jerry Seinfeld's comedy. That's gold, Jerry. Go! So we hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out some of our other nostalgic videos and subscribe. And with that, we'll see you in the next one. Mmm, that was some seriously good nostalgia. But remember, friends, it's also important to make new memories with your loved ones. Do you do